It wouldn't be summer unless it was unbearably hot outside. That's right, Florida summer is officially here and we want you to know that it's time to prepare your car. The next few months are going to be difficult to survive, but with a little preparation, you and your car can come out unscathed. There are a few factors summer brings that can negatively affect your vehicle. Let's take a look at how summer can cause your car stress and what you can do to combat these issues. Heat is a major factor that can mess with your ride. It can make not only getting into your car feel like an oven, but also damage your seats, tires, battery, and more. These tips are what you can do to make sure that your car outlasts the heat wave. Try to keep your leather polished to prevent cracking. If you're not going to be away from your vehicle for long, or you're just hanging out in it, keep your windows cracked to let the hot air escape. Check the PSI on your car's tires frequently. This can prevent a blowout since hot tires riding on hot pavement are not perfect conditions. If you're going to visit the beach often, frequently check underneath the hood to make sure there's no rust beginning to form. Carry jumper cables with you just in case the heat has taken a toll on your battery. You don't want to be stranded outside in 100 degree weather. The sun definitely brings the heat, but it brings UV rays too. These rays can cause harm to the exterior and interior of your car. Make sure your car looks brand new by implementing the following. Try to wash the car when it's not very hot or sunny outside. The sun's rays can cause the water to evaporate faster, leaving your car looking blotchy. After you're done washing your car, apply wax on the exterior to protect the paint from UV rays. Find a spot in the shade to park your car, like underneath a tree. And finally, use a sunshade or tint your windows to prevent your car's interior from getting damaged. Is your nose stuffed up? That's because it's pollen season, and although flowers are beautiful, they can make it so your car certainly is not. You can't escape pollen, but there are certain things that you can do to help reduce the damage. The best way to get rid of pollen is to set up an auto detailing schedule so that your car gets frequent scrub downs. You're going to want to wash your car about every other week to get a handle on the amount of pollen that gets deposited on your ride. Love bugs are invasive little creatures. They may not bite or sting, but they do ruin your car's exterior. Nothing is worse than driving your freshly washed car down the highway and running into a patch of love bugs. However, this is Florida and it's inevitable. Leaving the bug juice on your car will eat up your exterior paint, so here's a few tips to help. Kill two birds with one stone and get rid of the pollen and the bugs by washing your car frequently. If you run into any bugs that are stubborn and hard to remove, use a damp dryer sheet to rub them off. Use a bug shield spray. Just like the wax, it provides a barrier to protect against the love bugs. It's hard to keep your car in perfect condition during the summer, but by implementing these tips and tricks, your car is sure to be sparkling come winter time. If you have any questions about properly maintaining your vehicle or you need damage repaired, call Toyota of Claremont today.